Hello everyone, it's Obli here. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my unhalted unit frames to make it look nice and clean like this. It'll be a very short video, but I think I do need to show it. So first things first, you need to type in slash UUF in the chat and that will bring up the options. Now these are the options that I have for my game. So I don't enable the UI scale, I just have it like this at the moment, but you can do that if you'd like to, but just be aware if you do enable UI scale and turn it up too far, your whole game, everything will just be massive and you'll have to do like a full restart. I don't, uh, don't suggest that. Second, Frizz Quadrada TT, the font. I just have this actually changed in my game file to something different. So that's how you see like the nice font here. That's uh, changed fully. So every time I click this, it's changing to the one that I've actually manually changed in the settings. That's not a guide I'm going to make. You can easily find those guides uh, on YouTube on, on your own. So you want to copy all of these. So I'll run us through. So foreground texture, skyline, background texture, solid. When it comes to the mouse over, I disable mouse over and a bit half transparency. <coughs> it doesn't matter because it's literally disabled, but if you wanted it, you could. Then uh, <coughs> use, these, uh, use these settings here. Now for the custom colors, I've changed them to be a little bit less sort of bright. So when you hostile mobs, there's a little bit less sort of bright red friendly, a little bit less sort of bright green. Same with the neutral, more of a beige than a bright yellow. I think this looks nicer. I've done the same with like Rooney Power Mana and all of that thing, but all of that thing, all of that stuff, but I don't even really track that on here anyway. <clears throat> okay, so as for filters, I haven't even got around to filters yet. So there's no change there. For player, now we're gonna to wanna to make this frame look sick because we're gonna copy from this frame to most of these. So we're, of course, we're enabling player frame. I'm anchoring from center. Uh, anchor to center frame width just there frame height x position y position i don't have a portrait and then i have all of these on now for the absorbs and heal absorbs i just lowered the transparency to halfway on both this one and this one so this is how many this is like heal absorbs on you and then this is the um healing that you would get predicted on or for I'm not sure if that's the right grammar. Then I take it, turn off the power bar because if you're a DK with my UI pack, you'll have your runic bar in the middle. So there's no point, no need to see that. As for text, now I have first text, current health, HP, or health, current HP. I have that there. Anchor from center, anchor to right, and then X offset, Y offset, and then the font size there. As for second, third, and fourth, I don't have anything in there. So in the tag, there's nothing. Therefore, it's just the first tag's wording. If you had a second tag, then there would be more words on the plate, but on, on the plate, but I don't need it. As for buffs, I don't bother tracking buffs on myself because I'm gonna do it in my week or as the same with debuff. There's no point tracking it here because I'll either do it on the right hand side of my screen or in the middle. Or via a different week or <clears throat> as for indicators, I do keep on sort of enable target marker. I turn off my combat indicator because I don't really need to know. I mean I will know if I'm in combat or not. I don't need that little logo to, to put it there. Enable the leader, disable the threat. Now for target, you want to copy from player and then change it around. So you copy from the player and then you anchor from center, anchor from center, frame width, frame height. Now this, this needs to change. You have to do 52 here because we will have the power bar on the target because we will we do care about that. So we want to make the frame slightly bigger to compensate for the power bar. So frame, frame height, 52, frame X position, 280, frame Y position, minus 185 no portrait because it's the whole aim of the game here was to reduce cpu load and i didn't want portrait to increase it then we have the same sort of thing that we have a player that's down here because we've copied from so as for text it's a little bit different the first text would be the name so we've got my character's name here obble obli whatever and then <clears throat> i have y offset there anchor from left anchor to right y offset there font size there second we have right right again and this is the current HP of the target. X, Y font. <clears throat> this is a little bit bigger because there'll be less letters in this because it's just the numbers. So I've turned that up. No third, no fourth. As for buffs, I enable the buff so I can see what my target is buffed with. Pause the video if you want to copy all of these. Then debuffs. I don't enable debuffs because I will do that on my weak auras. I do enable the target marker, marker on the indicator there. Feel free to copy those stats. Those stats, those details. That's a range. That's that. Now the boss. 
looks a little bit different. There's almost never going to be so eight bosses uh, in a fight, so I just keep my boss frames here. Um, they're not completely finished. They're not perfect. Uh, I'm sure once I start raiding, I will finish finish them off. But for now, they'll do. So <clears throat> frame options. These are the these are the details that you need there. Same with basically the same as the player. Turning the color, turning that a little bit down, and that should be a little bit down as well. I'll do. And then texts. I just want the first to be the last name because so I don't really need to know too much about who it is I just need that last name I don't need the front I don't need anything else this is just so I can quickly tab to a boss if I want to uh what did I say I need the front I need the last name that's all I need yes so here I just need a quick way of abbreviating but I also have the portraits here so I don't even need the name realistically if I didn't want to but these are the stats for this first text this is for the right. I just have the percentage of the HP, not the actual number. This is displaying the number, but it won't actually have that. So for me, I just have the percentage because I'm looking at the number of the HP here if I'm fighting the boss. I'd, it's a bit more important for me to know what percentage the boss is at here as opposed to the actual number of the health. So that's the stats for that. No third, no fourth text. Buffs, I do enable buffs. This is the stats for that. And then debuffs, again, the same thing. Now my buffs and debuffs need a little bit of... Um, tuning because I don't think they're quite right but again haven't really been facing much where the boss encounters come along so I don't really need to haven't had to actually need to check it or change it yet but this is the buff and debuff I think you need to go into the game and have a look a little look at yourself I enable the target markers and range is here target of target let's get rid of the boss frames target of target that's this little square here so I definitely enable that <clears throat> this is the stats for the target of target no portrait, of course. Same sort of thing here. Don't enable absorbs or heal absorbs. I don't need to know that. I just need to know who my target is targeting. So for the text, I just have uh, so no le no left text. I just have the third text for some reason. I don't know why that's no no one else. But small amount of text in in font size twelve, just showing me who it is. Uh, no no buffs, no debuffs, indicators, range. And for focus, if I set myself as focus, I just have this here. Uh, which probably could change, probably could move, but I don't really focus a lot of things. So this was the last last sort of like minute put together for the video. Well, basically, yeah. So let's get rid of that. Clear the clear the focus. It's been a long time since I've had a focus. Uh, for texts, I just have this. So last name, and then for focus. I actually need to change this to just be percentage HP. Then third and fourth text, nothing. I don't have the focus target because I don't feel like I need to. For the pet frame, I do have a pet frame. So let's quickly go into uh, Unholy to show you the pet frame. It's nothing nothing special, but I don't really need to know much about the pet. I just need to know that the pet is there. Because if I'm looking at the pet bar and the abilities, that's over here. This green line for me is the pet bar. So let's get Unhalted unit frames back up. I have the stats like this, so if I if this green line here is up, I know, okay, I've got my pet out. If you could replace this with anything you want, but this is the clear indicator for me, yeah, my pet's alive. I can just right-click this and dismiss if I need to. I don't enable pretty much anything else because it's pretty much pointless. I also have a weak row that tells me when my pet's not there, so again, pretty pointless for me to have anything else. But yeah, so this is the stats for the frame. Don't enable absorb anything. No bother with text, uh, no buffs, no debuffs. If I want to know what buffs it's got, I'll just click it and see. Oh, Grave Mastery, great. No indicators, no range, and yeah. So as for tags and profiles, you don't really need to know anything about these ones. These, these haven't really changed. That is how I set up my unhalted unit frames to look like this. So if you like it, feel free to change it, take it. But yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace. Bye.